Hey folks, welcome back to another video. This is Mike. Uh, look, we're going to be getting into a reaction. If you guys uh, don't like reaction videos, this probably not a video for you. But if you do like reaction videos, we're going to go over something that uh, piqued my interest. It's uh, a girl, uh, apparently her name is Janice, and she's from the Young Turks, I guess. Uh, the Turks, the Young Turks, I guess. Yeah, and uh, Matt Walsh. So what Matt Walsh is, he actually reacts to this video, and I am reacting to what she says because she's reacting to what Matt said about what she was doing, if that makes any sense to you. So let's jump into Well, oh, first, first, look, there's a lot in this video that I, I'm going to break down at the end, so stick around. There's a lot of things that you need to notice. It's like one of the things where... What's different from this picture than this picture or the old Where's Waldo? Okay, so when you guys notice them, put them in the comments, okay? Because there's some things I'll be pointing out, but I might miss some things. And um, if you could point out some things in the video, I'd appreciate it because there is a lot of things packed into this video. And like I said, wait to the end and uh, I'll be watching it with you and maybe some reaction to it. But I will not stop the video. I'll wait to the end, react to it, and uh, so let's jump into it. Okay, just a quick note before we watch this video. There is a lag on the end of the video. It's not on my end. It's on uh, the publisher's end of the video. So you'll notice there's a delay in her voice with uh, the actual video. So I hope it don't irritate you too much, but it doesn't last that long. So let's get into this video. This situation only demonstrates why I personally prefer for sports broadcasts, especially football broadcasts, to be handled mostly by men. Lindsay, though, worse than the average, even as far as Janice. female sports reporters go, is definitely not the only female to enter into this mostly male space and seek to feminize it. She wants the football stadium to be quiet and gentle, considerate, respectful of personal space. She wants it to be a more feminine environment. She's not trying to assimilate herself into the culture of football fans. She is rather hoping that they assimilate themselves to her. This is a problem across our culture. Sports just happen to be an area where the problem is especially pronounced and obvious. Females enter into areas that have typically catered and mostly belonged to men. And, um, and then, often quite successfully, they try to, to change them, to emasculate them and thereby destroy the primary reason for their existence in the first place. So let me just explain something to you all. Uh, sporting events are supposed to be safe spaces for people like me who are very masculine, <laughs> love to be very expressive with my hands, can't put them down. Sometimes I do this to look like I'm smart, but I'm really not. Um, and the fact of the matter is that I think that men are savages and they can't control themselves. And my idea of feminizing an environment is preventing people from putting hands on individuals they haven't received consent from. Mm -hmm. Like, think about what he's saying there, right? He's saying men are grabby savages who can't control themselves and they should be that way. That's who they are. And that needs to be protected. They need a safe space where they can be as grabby as they want. And if a woman happens to be in that environment, well, she deserved it. She deserved to be touched. In okay, so look, at, I don't know this chick, and I made a mistake because her name's not Janice, it's Lindsay, and I never, I don't watch the Young Turks. I, I could care less. A lot of these shows I don't delve into, but there's some things about this. Now, I happen to be a man, so I can comment on these things about men, okay? Now, I don't know what the problem is with the generalization that men are all savages or they are 
touching women all the time. I I don't I don't get that. I <laughs> I mean, listen, when you go to a sporting event, men get drunk. Women get drunk too. I've seen women just plastered and laying all over the place. I mean, it, when you go to a sporting event, it, it brings out the adventure in you, so to speak. It brings out that primal state of what you used to be like back before uh, man was civilized, right? I guess we're kind of civilized. When you go to a sporting event, at least when I do, man, I'm up yelling. I lose my voice by the end of the day. You know, I'm not a heavy drinker, but I don't tie one on. I did that when I was a kid. I don't do that anymore. But a lot of people do. I, You know, whatever, whatever floats your boat, you know what I'm saying? But when you go to the events, and, and when she was doing that, uh, she had her camera there. I don't know if she had anybody with it. Generally, nowadays, this is all done by one person. They bring their camera. They stand in a crowd or they're doing a news report. They are by themselves. Okay, it looks to me, you know, don't touch my camera. This equipment was hers. Okay, and why this woman is in a sporting event like that, I have no idea. She could have been standing off to the corner. It looked like she was in a main aisleway where people would have to go around her. She might have set up before everybody was getting out of the game. And it was a Georgia game, right? Georgia football, uh, the University of Georgia. So when she's doing this, she's, she says she's a, a manly person. or um, and But when she did this, it was she she's almost condescending, almost arrogant. OK, when she's like people are having fun, she could have joked with them. She could have brought somebody out of the crowd and and, and talk to them about how the game was. You know, what are, you, what are your feelings? You know, that type of thing. And she said it was men. I, I seen a, a few women, especially there was an older lady in there. Did you see that? Did you see the kids? Did you see there was a couple other women that were screaming? And I didn't see anyone. Maybe it happened afterwards. But as people were funneling through, I didn't see anybody grabbing. I seen one guy was plastered. I'll be yelling. A couple of guys, they they had their mouth open. They were yelling. I didn't see anybody touch her. They were, I don't know. She was in the way, obviously. She was in the way of, you know, people leaving the stadium. So, obviously, they want to go around her. You know what? When you're walking with a bunch of people and you're talking and you're looking at a person, you're not generally thinking, hey, you know, I'm not, I'm watching where I'm going. I'm not watching where I'm going. I might bump into somebody. You're not thinking about all that. So these people are screaming. They had a good time. Obviously, Georgia won. They were excited. They were drunk. And, you know, don't touch my stuff. You know, don't touch. But especially the first guy. He was had no, I mean, I wouldn't have touched her. She's not that very attractive to even think about doing that. Plus, I don't do that just because I just don't. But, he didn't, the first guy in the blue shirt, he didn't touch her. He wanted to get on film. They know, every one of them knew that they were, she was running her camera and they wanted to be on just like anybody else does. They wanted, they had their five minutes of fame. And then what Matt says, I, I agree with them. Men like to go to sporting events, okay? There's a time and a place where women, I don't, if you want to come, fine, but you know that you're in that environment. That's a safe place for men. She said there's a safe place to go to a sport event. No, it's not. Men go there to throw stuff, to drink, to get hammered, to have fun, to yell, to scream, to dress up in costumes. Listen, it's not a it's not a safe place, okay? You're close. You're in a confined place, almost like being in an airplane with 100,000 people. No, you're not in a safe place. So I disagree with everything she said. And afterwards, throwing her hands around, I do that. But it was she was almost like irritated, like I'm above everybody else. Everybody do what I say. This is how with safe place. She said she was manly. When you put your hand over your chest and you act a certain like a, a you know female does, men don't act like that. Okay, I just had issues with a lot of what she was saying. I I thought she wasn't used to being in that environment. Whoever told her to go to that game. Obviously, she doesn't watch football. She doesn't go to male sporting events. So that she was way out of her comfort zone. Okay, she wasn't in the right spot. She should have picked somebody out of the crowd. There's a lot of issues with that. I didn't. I seen women yelling. I seen kids yelling. So 
basically what she had to say was just pure nonsense and she didn't want to be there. You could tell that from the start. Yeah. So anyways, what did you guys think about that? I, I think it was pure nonsense. Uh, it was, why do you make a, a news clip out of it? Why do you bring her on? They put her in there. So you guys leave in comments in section. If you would, man, give me a thumbs up, like the video, share it with your friends and your family, comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the next video. Bye now. I'm on the run. I've got no alibi for what I've done. Took what you treasure, and I'm never gonna give it up.